Gallahorn is back in Destiny after a hiatus of five years and has been returned to us as part of the Bungie 30th anniversary update. So Gallahorn was one of, if not the, most powerful weapons in Destiny history and today I'm going to have a closer look at the stats, the perks, how it's changed since Destiny 1 plus that all-important information on how to get Gallahorn in Destiny 2. Well, if you're new around here or find this useful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below for all the latest Destiny 2 content and turn on notifications by hitting that bell. And roughly 98% of viewers who watch This Week in Video Games aren't subscribed, so subscribe today and never miss an update. Well, first of all, before we dive into how to get Galahorn, let's have a look at the weapon itself. So Galahorn is an exotic power rocket launcher that fires solar damage and it comes with some pretty special perks. So first of all, we have the classic Wolfpack rounds. So rounds fired split into tracking cluster missiles upon detonation. And then we've got Pack Hunter to gain increased handling and reload speed when standing near allies. And firing this weapon also grants Wolfpack rounds to nearby allies wielding non-exotic rocket launchers. So that perk there is a new perk and it sounds absolutely devastating. So looking at the stats, we've got 68 for stability. 69 for handling, 43 for reload speed, 50 for velocity, 95 for blast radius. It's a 15 rounds per minute rocket launcher with one in the magazine. There was a lot of talk before Galahorn came out, you know, would it be as powerful as the Destiny 1 Galahorn? Well, this is absolutely powerful and due to that Pack Hunter perk, we gain increased handling and reload speed when staying near allies and firing the weapon also grants wolf pack rounds to nearby allies wielding non-exotic rocket launchers well, that is going to allow you to deal so much damage. I'm really, really looking forward to jumping in some raids with the new Galahorn. Well, next up today, let's have a look at how to get Galahorn in Destiny 2. So Galahorn is one of the bonuses that players get for ordering the Bungie 30th Anniversary Pack. And you can access this one on all platforms and it costs around $25. So once you've purchased the 30th Anniversary Pack, so you don't just get it straight away, you will need to complete a quest and that one is called And Out Fly the Wolves. So once you purchase the 30th anniversary pack, you will get access to a quest and you can find that on the director. And that will direct you towards Shorehan on the Cosmodrome. So step one, visit Shorehan. So go to the Cosmodrome, speak to Shorehan and then pick up the quest. So step two is complete the grasp of Avarice Dungeon. So the dungeon can be found on the Cosmodrome and you will need to find a fire team. Unless you're mad and you go in there solo, I would recommend going in with a fire team the first time round. The dungeon isn't match made, so either team up with some clan mates or find some guardians on Bungie's LFG app and then simply complete the dungeon. So the dungeon is probably the central piece of content with the 30th anniversary pack and it is a whole lot of fun. Now, it's all themed around the loot cave from Destiny 1 and once you finish your dungeon, you'll be on to the next step of the quest. So step three is bring the wolf pack round to Shorehand. So what you want to do is head back to the Cosmodrome and speak to Shorehand once again. And then step four, collect the wolf pack rounds. So for this step of the quest, you want to defeat powerful Fallen on the Cosmodrome. So you can do public events, or you can also do Lost Sectors too. It did seem a little buggy for me, so try and kill the powerful Fallen, especially if you're running around with a fire team. And also there's loads of people running around the Cosmodrome at the moment. So if you can, try and kill all those powerful Fallen and then you want to collect the seven wolf pack rounds that you need to complete this step of the quest. So step five, go back and speak to Shorehan. So go back and speak to Shorehan, who's our vendor on the Cosmodrome. And then for step six, you want to speak to Banshee44 in the tower. So fly into the tower, go and speak to Banshee44, talk to him about Galahorn a little bit, and then you want to pick up the trigger mechanism. So what you're doing here is gathering loads of pieces of the Galahorn, and we're going to reassemble it in a minute. Then for step 7, so what you want to do is go back to the Cosmodrome again, complete the Lost Sector, the Exodus Garden 2A. So go back to the Cosmodrome, make your way to the Divide, and simply complete that Lost Sector, the Exodus Garden 2A. Then it's step 8, so here you have to reassemble the components. So head back to Shorehan and near him, there's a little room with a quest marker. Head in there and reassemble the pieces of Galahorn. And then finally, step nine, pick up the Galahorn from Shorehan. So for the final step of the quest, go to Shorehan, pick up the Galahorn. And once you've done this, head out into your favorite activity and test out your new power exotic rocket launcher. And this is one of the most iconic weapons in the game. Well, next up, let's have a look at how Galahorn has changed. So Bungie did say 
about the returning rocket launcher that Gallahorn has been carefully updated to the Destiny 2 sandbox, according to its official reveal, and the developers mean to take its iconic status to the next level. Well, Gallahorn definitely feels as powerful as it was in Destiny 1, so as well as the exotic perk Wolfpack rounds, where rounds fired split into tracking cluster missiles upon detonation, it also has Pack Hunter, so this is where you get increased handling and reload speed when standing near allies, and firing the weapon also grants Wolfpack rounds to nearby allies, wielding non-exotic rocket launchers. And that is going to make it extra powerful and really, really good for DPS in endgame PvE content, especially nightfalls and raids. Well, finally today, because it's Bungie's 30th anniversary, let's have a look at a short history of the Galahorn. So Galahorn is often seen as one of the most overpowered weapons ever used in Destiny. So its dominance extended through the latter half of Year 1 of Destiny 1, and the weapon was so prevalent it was almost needed to play higher level activities. For example, many of the LFG posts during Year 1 often put the phrase Galahorn required, meaning if a player joined without the weapon, they'd be kicked from the activity. You know, another example of its dominance has to do with how many times it was sold by Zur. So in the second week of Destiny 1, Zur sold the weapon to players, and unfortunately, due to how early Destiny was in its lifespan, many refused to spend their strange coins on such a quote-unquote weak weapon. So many viewed the perks of tracking and wolfpack rounds as too simple or underpowered, and the weapon would then go on nearly a year-long drought without only ever being sold once more a few weeks prior to the start of Year 2. And it was the only rocket launcher that had tracking missiles that each functioned separately from the warheads. And the rocket launcher is one of three exotic rocket launchers found in Destiny 1 that are made by the Crux Lomar Weapons Foundry, and the other two are Dragon's Breath and Truth. So Galahorn always had that special perk, Wolfpack Rounds, wherein rounds fired from the weapons split into tracking cluster missiles upon detonation of the main warhead. And that added to the overall damage of a single round, and therefore could take down high-level enemies and bosses in a short amount of time, or take out large groups of lower tier enemies. Well, Galahorn is back, and I'd love to hear what you think about Galahorn, so let me know down in the comments what you think of Galahorn. So is it as good as you remember, and what do you think of that new perk? Well, that is it for this guide for how to get the Galahorn in Destiny 2. And as always, thank you so much for watching. For more Destiny 2 content like this, hit that subscribe button down below and subscribe to This Week in Video Games. If you want to join the community, check out the Discord link in the description, or you can follow me on Twitter at TWIVG Podcast. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, liking and sharing the video would really help me out. Otherwise, check out the other videos on the channel. Thanks again. I'll see you soon.